For 30 years, Just Hockey has supplied the largest range of hockey equipment in Australia, offering all the top brands and a wide range of sticks, pads, shoes and safety equipment. All you need to do is check out the website for your nearest store, the latest specials and breaking news from around the hockey world. Make sure you're playing your best with the best from Just Hockey. This week we're going to have a look at receiving skills and specifically receiving across the body. So yeah, great to have Scotty Boyd here again today um, to help demonstrate the across body receiving skill. The reason we've got three cones here with the yellow one in the middle is that most players, the common mistake is that they'll receive the ball on or around their left foot and then have to make a secondary movement to shift the ball to that one o'clock position to then be able to play. That takes time, it gives cue to the, cues to the defenders. So what we want to do, instead of receiving it here on the left side of your body, have the ball come across your body and go with it and receive the ball outside the red cone. So in this situation with a midfield transfer, too many players and the ball's coming from the middle to the right, the right side player will have their shoulders facing the person passing the ball. What we want them to do is to face the opportunities forward towards goal. So as the ball comes, Scott can receive across his body and then make his plays from there. All right, what we quite often see is the ball trapped on or around this left foot, or the players will keep their left hand in the mid part of their body, which means that the stick will often be open on an angle. As the ball comes into the stick there, it will go away from the stick. You won't have that close ball control. Some players will even have their left hand outside their left hip, which makes it even harder to receive the ball with good control. What we really want is to get this stick face square to the line of the ball. So to do that, we move that top hand out to here, and you can see that squares up the stick face to the ball. One of the common mistakes is players will trap the ball on the left side and then take the extra time to shift it to a position where they can play. It's much slower, it's easier for the defenders to defend that. So the thing that Scott did really well then was trap the ball right on his stick. And that means that the time between his first touch and the quality of your first touch, so the time between it and your ability to do the next thing is really short. As you go up levels, you get less time and space, so that ball control at first touch is key. So after you've done that nice dynamic receive, you've, you've received it mobile coming this way. One of the common areas when players look for their next option is to stand up off the ball, so their stick actually comes up to here. What we want to do is stay down on the ball, tracking at speed, delivering the pass or making the plays when they're available. The last thing I want to point out at the end of that receive relates to the push pass. Listen to see if there's noise on that push pass or no noise. What we want is no noise. That means the stick is right on the ball. If you're hearing noise, it means the stick's coming off the ball. So stay on the ball, no noise. So a couple of the main benefits of passing or push passing without noise is that you can pass with deception. So if your stick's on the ball, you're tracking with vision, you can actually look one way and then pass the other. So if your stick's away from the ball, and then as it goes back to the ball, that's a cue to the defender that now you're gonna make the pass, so they've probably got a better chance of intercepting. So in summary, if you receive the ball on that left side of your body, you can't pass the ball here. Okay, that's why we want it to come that across body receive. From that position, you can pass here, 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 and here. So the keys to receiving are your awareness before the ball comes, what spaces you can receive into, and how to position your body so that you can see the field on the receive. Then it's a matter of having good first touch with the ball on your stick, and you won't go wrong. Go away, work on these things, enjoy it, and we'll see you next week.